Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm Darren McBreen. It is Wednesday, January 8th, 2014. And here's a quick look at what's coming up. Tonight, as radiation readings soar on the West Coast, InfoWars sends a team to report what the mainstream media won't. Regardless of the source, what does it mean for you and your family's health? All that and more and live reports from the West Coast on tonight's InfoWars Nightly News. Well, by now, I'm sure you've all seen the viral video on YouTube where a citizen journalist took his Geiger counter to a beach in San Francisco and recorded background radiation over five times the safe level. Days after the YouTube video emerged, health officials in San Mateo County confirmed the spike. However, they dismissed the possibility that the high levels of radiation are linked to Fukushima radiation reaching the West Coast. And don't forget that experts have concluded that the radioactive plume from the nuclear accident in March 2011 will reach the U.S. coast by early 2014. So the question is, has Fukushima's radioactive wave already hit California? Now, in a new development, an electrical engineer who's designed Geiger counters over the past 40 years, well, he took his own measurements in San Francisco and found hot spots that are a staggering 14 times the normal background radiation. And for more on this, we go to InfoWars reporter Jakari Jackson and crew who are live on the scene in San Francisco, equipped with their very own Geiger counters. And Jakari, what do you make of all this? I mean, we don't know whether or not the radiation hotspots are because of Fukushima, but we do know that the radiation levels are up, and that, that is indeed a fact. And, um, and that would pose a significant health risk, don't you think? Oh, definitely so, and you said it so beautifully, so poignantly, because even if we don't know this is from Fukushima, if it's naturally occurring, it's still way higher than what it normally should be. And Darren, I just want to direct your attention briefly for the, to the beautiful Golden Gate Bridge that's standing right here behind me. It is absolutely beautiful. We have our crew down there on the rocks. They're doing their various readings at this moment, and from what I'm told, uh, Adon, we still have 15 micro rins, is that correct? 15 micro rins, and also, what's the CPMs? The crew is checking out uh, our equipment here on the Geiger count. About 42 CPM. And you guys can go to Paul Joseph Watson's article for what all those facts and figures mean. But, Darren, yes, this is something that people need to know about. As beautiful as this day is, there's definitely a health risk associated that's going on on these various beaches. Not so much here, but in the other area that we were at earlier today, we definitely saw some high numbers there. Now I want to talk about the guy who designed his own Geiger counters over the past 40 years because he says he's never seen anything quite like this. Uh, you know, he's very alarmed by the measurements that were recently taken. He's even warned everybody to stay away from the beach. Meanwhile, authorities are telling people that it, you know, it's completely harmless. And, you know, we've been lied to before. I just want to know, do you trust the authorities, Jakari, when they say that there's nothing to worry about right now? Well, if you think back, Darren, on 9-11, they said the dust was safe to breathe. That was the EPA. Then it came out. Obviously, that was not the case. Many people came down with many illnesses from the 9-11 dust. And I can't say that's exactly what's going on here. But, you know, take it with a grain of salt. They say it's okay. Well, maybe it's okay for a little bit. You don't want to spend out spend all your time out here swimming in it. Definitely not. And I definitely want uh, anybody who's in this area to take that into account before they go jump in these waters. Well, I tell you what, what really got my attention recently, and that is the fact that the federal government, they're acting like they're preparing for some sort of nuclear emergency right now. Because we now know that the Department of Health and Human Services, for example, they just ordered an unprecedented 14 million doses of potassium iodide, which, you know, protects the body in the event of radioactive poisoning. So right. the federal government, they are already acting as if there's been a severe nuclear accident. Does that concern you as, as much as it does me? Oh, yes. It concerns me not only as a journalist, but as a just general citizen. Now, of course, I don't live here 
in this beautiful state of California. We are in Austin, Texas. But regardless of where you are, this stuff spreads. It's not just going to stay here on the California coast, whatever this radiation is, whether it's Fukushima, whether it's other types of radiation, these things spread. So you definitely need to be aware of that. And on that note that you made, Anthony Gucci already called those guys up and they hung up on them because they didn't want to talk about why they're ordering so much of this uh, of these materials. Well, tell us about you took your own Geiger counters out there. What have you guys found out thus far on your trip? Well, the first place we went where the, the YouTube was, the viral YouTube video, that was the highest, the highest levels when we have a video out or it will be out shortly on Infowars.com and also on the Alex Jones YouTube page. But here's, they're not as high, but there's still uh, things to be concerned about. And we'll continue moving, Darren. I want to tell you a little bit about what we have planned. We're going to move completely up the coast. Uh, we're going to move uh, pretty far here tonight, and we'll see you guys tomorrow and also all the way up into Washington. So we're going to be going to various power plants, various beaches, and different locations to give you guys the best readings. What's your final destination? Where does the road trip end? We're going to go up to Seattle, then fly back down to Southern California. I think we're going to hit L.A. and a few other spots around there and end in San Diego, then come back. And we will continue to get updates from Jakari Jackson and the crew as they continue to travel up the Pacific coast and investigate what's really going on with the alarming radiation spikes that are occurring all throughout that area. Now be sure to check in with Infowars.com and listen to the Alex Jones Show this week and next for continued updates. By the way, just got word from the Japanese Ministry of the Environment they are actually considering a citywide evacuation near Fukushima as thyroid cancer rates among Japanese children in the area have finally reached epidemic levels. We're going to take a quick break. The InfoWars Nightly News. We'll be right back. My friends, Alex Jones here to tell you about some of the most important information concerning you and your family's health. Radiation levels have more than doubled in the last 60 years in the Northern Hemisphere from all of the nuclear testing and radiological accidents. Radioactive contamination is now in most of the food supply. There's only two ways to avoid this. Move south of the equator or properly protect your thyroid with nascent iodine. Looking to protect my family, I've done deep research. Nascent iodine is the purest, cleanest, absolute best form of iodine to protect yourself and your family. It's made right here in the USA, completely non-GMO. I searched out the best quality and now have developed a double strength form of nascent iodine, exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Nascent iodine is on record as one of the only safe ways to detox from fluoride poisoning. Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Secure your super high quality nascent iodine today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139.